Hi everybody, and welcome to my channel, Kamala Mundanum Ledger. And on this channel, Skulumama Reality TV shows my celebrities, Kanyana, my YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today and you really like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button. Lang is anti but yeah, you can also become a member on this channel if you want to get access to certain videos earlier than the rest of the family. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I want to talk about these two stories here because people are talking about Unati and the Prince KP being together. And Nancy did an interview with Zimoja, and she's clarifying that situation. But also, Open Nidoli, who was working for Ika Gassi, and they tried to renew her contract recently, and uh, she did not take the offer. And this newspaper published a story saying that she had abandoned her job at Ikakasi FM and now she was clarifying in a video why she quit the job you guys listen I had always assumed that these radio stations pay a lot of money because sometimes I wouldn't understand when you're doing so well on social media because social media allows people to uh, work uh, basically just do anything okay you are self-employed if you're doing public speaking, if you're doing videos, you're posting them, you're making money from AdSense, whatever it is, but you are self-employed. And, and then a radio station approaches you and they want you and you take a step back from your social media work to focus on a radio station. I've always thought that they must pay a lot because I feel like I would rather work for myself than go work for somebody, especially in the entertainment space. But you guys, this is not the first story to come out about, you know, certain radio stations that are not paying people enough. And it's always young black women, you guys. I know even young black men, but you know, mostly it is young black women. Even if the salary was bad, you guys, I did not think that it was as bad as we are seeing here because Penny revealed you guys on uh, this contract that they offered her. Uh, it says here she was going to be paid 711 rand per show, okay? And she uh, was going to work, I guess she has a show once a week and, uh, and then she works so if she works once a week she's going to get like 2800 rands for the month that will be her salary for me kakasi fm there is a salary that will go to her bank account and be reflected on her pay slip every month i thought how ridiculous is that and i know that other people will be like but if you're going to work for one day uh it must be enough i don't think so you guys because i feel like even to get to work how much does it cost you to to get to work and just to end up earning 700 rand for that day and then the rest of the day you're not uh, working you guys and i have heard stories of how some of these radio stations don't allow you to do certain things or certain work on social media while you are working for the um radio station so they limit how much you can do on social media for yourself as a self-employed creator they limit how much you can do so that you know you can just focus on the station okay so she did not take that offer you guys it's ridiculous i was that I was calculating how much she would earn if she was working five days a week and earning the 700 rand. She would still be making like 14,000 rands a month. And I was shocked by it. I was like, does that mean that there are people that are actually being paid 14,000 rands a month on Ikagas FM? Because I've always assumed that they get paid really, really well, you guys. Not in the video, not only is she explaining how the whole situation went in terms of them giving them an or giving her an offer and then her going back to them to ask uh, for them to renegotiate, but she also talks about how when uh, that conversation was done, she was feeling like they were not only saying that they're not going to pay her more, but they were also saying that she wasn't that good at uh, being a, a radio DJ. She felt like that, okay? And I've listened to open you guys on Ukak as the FM. I don't know what they will be talking about. I don't know. I'm not I'm not an experienced a broadcaster, but I did feel like she was doing very well on radio, you guys. Listen, I'm glad she did not take this offer. But what I didn't understand is that Penny says in the in the video that she did, she tells a story of how they offered her the 2,800 rand and it was too little. This is not even enough for her to buy groceries for her family. So she declined uh, the offer. And then she talks about how the conversation went between her and her employer. 
And then at the end, she says that, guys, listen, uh, Igakasi is the best uh, place to, the best company to work for. And I'm like, no, don't lie to the kids, okay? Anybody that wants to pay 700 rand per show uh, is not a good employer, okay? <laughs> she was like, guys, if you want to go and try out for, you know, the show, just go and try out. It's the best employer. I'm like, no, Ikakasi is not a best employer if they were offering you that much. If somebody went and typed a contract and put 2,800 rand a month and put 711 rand per show and handed it to you to sign as a young black woman who is doing very well on social media and bringing uh, thousands and thousands of, of viewers from your TikTok and other social media platforms to their radio station because they love you. If that company put 711 rand and handed it to you to sign and accept it and you could to, for you to continue working for them no th that is not a best employer okay i didn't understand it when she was saying that you guys i guess it's a situation of her not wanting to now say all of the bad things about this company just because she no longer she's no longer going to work uh for the company you guys but everything is in here in the contract, so we can see that she wasn't lying about it. It says here, not Obegon Tuli, and uh, the radio session, it says, Radio Ikakasi 99.5 PTY LCD. Subsequent to our discussion, Kakasi is offering you a position as an independent contractor, taking the following into account. Uh, position is a presenter, day on Sunday, uh, 1 to 4 o'clock. Uh, one to four and it's 700 rands it's even in like in a very odd hours okay i feel like anybody that works those hours should actually be paid more than the people working during the day but anyway you guys what do i know about radio presenting i do feel like this was a ridiculous offer that they gave to this guy it's actually exploitation okay we can only imagine you guys how much other young black women are being paid at Chikakasi fm listen i might just stop listening to the show okay because there are other radio stations i just don't know how much they pay their employees but i feel like i would rather listen to the radio station that i have no idea how much they pay their employees and listen to the radio station that is paying their young women who are very talented 711 rand to do a midnight show okay one to four in the morning okay 700 rand a, a, a day okay okay so i'm considering okay i might not listen to ikakasi fm anymore anyway you guys let's do this other story about onat because uh people saw this photo that she had posted of her and prince kb and then people are saying listen these two are together they just don't want to tell us okay even me i was like hey, are they you know <laughs> have i been missing something are they together and let's just see because there's a photo here at the bottom i think this is a photo that made everybody to be like mm -mm, guys mm -mm, there's too many of these photos of you and your kids and then him and his kids what's happening here so it says yes singer and radio personality unat and guy has uh, set the record straight about dating prince kp after social media questioned their relationship when their friendly video and photos went viral i actually forget because unat is a singer i don't know why guys i don't know but i, I do forget okay <laughs> Speaking to Zimo Junat, he said, or has come out to deny that something is going on between them and said that they have been good friends for years. He's a he's like family. He even met my dad in 2021 when they were recording a song together. Listen, you guys, there, there isn't a thing that Unati will explain without referring to her parents for some reason, okay? His family, he even met my dad in 2021 when we were recording a song together in Kubeha. This was when Kaya FM fired me and he helped me through it with my father. They kept me in that bubble in PE for a week away from it all. I owe him a lot, she said, adding that they are good friends and wouldn't miss a good thing by being intimate with each other. That means she has thought about it, okay? <laughs> Unati has definitely thought about being with Prince KB because you wouldn't make that statement otherwise, okay? Listen, he even went and met the parents. Now I'm starting to think maybe the, the Twitter is onto something here, okay? Guys, I do wonder what happened with Unati's um, court case. Remember, she was suing the radio station because they fired her and she was like, we, was, we are so close to winning. 
Okay. She was like, Basatana Kumalo when she was talking about that case. Unati also revealed to Zimoja that when the picture of her and her son, Prince KP and his son went viral, his girlfriend was also present. But why is she not on the picture? Maybe she's also like, I love about He's like a brother to me, and his girlfriend was there uh, that night. I don't get why people are going wild over a picture, she said. Unatu was once married to a radio personality, Utoma Simsengane, and we thought they were going to last forever, but it ended in tears. By the way, you guys, that is not in the newspaper article. It's just me. The couple have a daughter, Imbo, and a son, Sinako, together. And on the other hand, Prince KP has a son, Umino Milani, whom uh, he shares with actress and radio personality, Uzola, uh, whose real name is Zola Mshong, okay? So it says here, Unata said that they also have worked together on Prince KP's latest album. She's featured on Prince KP's song, Tito from 2023 album, Gemini, where she was leading vocals on a dance tune. Prince KP took to social media to dismiss the rumors as well. He wrote, LOL, shame, man. Every woman in my life I sleep with. It doesn't matter, but Unata has been a friend for years, okay? Hopefully one day we don't get the the the, the tape, okay? <laughs> Hopefully, you guys, we don't get a tape of Unati and Prince KP sometime in the future. I can't deal with this, okay? I, I still, you know, I still am struggling to erase the, the vision of Prince KB with someone else, allegedly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video tell me what you think about the penny and julie story you guys do you think 711 rand is enough to pay somebody to work for a radio station at uh, working a shift of one to four uh, a.m at you know in the morning basically and then only because another thing is that yes it's 700 rand, but they're not giving her every day of the week it's just once a week and then she gets 2800 rands ridiculous gagas listen every time li i listen to you gagas i'm gonna be seeing the 2800 rand. that's why i think i might not listen anymore okay it's just that i like felix's show i don't know what i'm gonna do about that anyway thank you so much you guys for watching this video please like it before and make it on and share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in Itanda. Kakum.